Welcome back. Now it's time, now that we've got our uh, domain name and hosting linked together, to actually get a email address set up. So what we're going to do is go into the control panel of our website. So as you can see up the top here, I'm in michellegreencoaching.com. Uh, Just type in cPanel at the end. And here it will ask for a username and password. Okay, now I've got to remember what my um, username and password were. I always get it to remember because I'm lazy. Probably not the safest thing in the world to do, but that's just me. Okay, so we're going to be in the control panel now. And as you can see, I've um, been set up on package one, which is, I'm on the reseller package, so I can actually choose what type of packages um, I can set myself up on. I can also choose how many megabytes I can use, how many email accounts and so forth. So we're going to go into mail, as you can see here, there's a little mail icon, pretty logical. And we will add, remove and manage accounts. Okay. So there's like a coaching at michellegreencoaching.com and I want to add um, maybe support at michellegreencoaching.com for example. So I would put something in there and I will call it michelle123 for my password. Okay. Once I've done that, click on create. And it says that the email account support at michellegreencoaching.com with the login blah 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 and password michelle123 was successfully created. That quota of 10 megabytes, I can actually make that bigger if I want to, but you know that's totally up to you what you want to do there. And in this page here you can see that it's been set up. Now I can have unlimited email accounts, so if you're a business with several staff, you can actually set one up maybe with one name per staff member or um, one called info at whatever or one it called help at whatever okay so completely up to you what you would decide to do but you, you, your choices are endless now if we go back again another thing that um, a lot of people like is some sort of autoresponder to be set up so for example if someone emails me um, they'd like to I'd like to know that they know that I have received their email so we can set up a little autoresponder here by clicking on this autoresponder link just to say hi, yes, we got your email, um, and we'll respond to you within however many days. So I'll add autoresponder, and that will be support. Obviously, you can only set it up under an email address you've already um, created. Subject, thank you for your email. So hi. Thank you. Within 24 hours. Oh, can't even spell this morning. Okay, so you type in the message. So what that will mean is anyone who emails support at michellegreen.com, Michelle Green Coaching, I should say, will receive a response email saying pretty much thank you for your email and that I'll respond within 24 hours and we click on create Ta -da! that was created so that's all very exciting okay so now we want to make sure that um, this all works so what I'm going to do is send an email to the um, my new email address and we'll see what happens I love the pause button. Okay, I've sent an email to um, a support at michellegreencoaching.com and I've received a response back as you can see. So it's from Michelle Green, which is what I put in the from section on that form I filled out. Uh, support at michellegreencoaching.com, back to me and my husband um, and my thank you email. So that's all pretty exciting, isn't it? So now I'm wanting to maybe go in and actually check my email address to see um, if how what that email looks like that I received from me I like emailing myself okay so we just go back into here and click on webmail 
and my password was oops M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E Michelle123 from memory we click on login another window opens Okay, so you've got a couple of different options here. Um, these three um, pretty pictures up the top are the three different types of email um, browsers, I suppose you could call them. Um, if you want the really basic, that's your squirrel mail. Horde has pretty much everything. Um, and Roundcube, I'm not quite sure. I think it's a bit of both. Um, most people that I talk to either use Squirrel or Horde. We might just use Squirrel because it comes up easier. So let's click on that. Okay, so as you can see, this is a really, really, really basic email screen. Um, click on the link here. And this is the email I originally sent, that which prompted the response. So it's all pretty exciting, isn't it, don't you think? Um, so I can then respond to that now. So I would just need to click on reply. And I could just type hello back or something like that and send. Yes, it's not the prettiest of email um, options, but it does the job. Like, I suppose as long as people contact you, you can contact them, then what does it matter? Uh, just quickly, I thought I'd just go into Horde, which was the other um, webmail reading um, option, I suppose. And as you can see, this looks a little bit prettier. I can click on that. And I can see the details of the email. Um, again, probably not as fancy as you would get with, um, say, your Outlook or whatever, but hey, it does the job. And again, you can just click on reply. And we'll have this little box appear, which I'll just enlarge. Um, and again, you can just write your hello back, or whatever. <laughs> You can choose to save a copy in your sent box. Um, you can request a read receipt. Um, you've got an address book in here. There's also a, um, oh look, it's telling me down here that I received an email. <laughs> um, it also has a calendar option, all sorts of wonderful things. So yeah, so that's another option there for you. And that's basically sorting out your email. So yeah, any questions about setting up your email account, um, please go to michellegreensupport.com and lodge a support ticket and we'll get back to you. Until the next video, have a good one.